welcome to inspire for travel guys and today is just a casual walk i'm taking here i'm literally from the nakuru town i'm just heading towards the naivas on the highway that section there so i mean nakuru is definitely developed guys it's developing rapidly um one of the fastest growing cities here in the republic of kenya and like i said it became a city we got a city status officially um, December last year, so that's really good. So yeah, man, definitely when you come to Kenya, you have to visit Nakuru City. Now, of course, if you're looking to do touristic things, there's Lake Nakuru. And um, you get to see the flamingos, rhinos, elephants, and all of that stuff there. And you can also check out other museums and different things like that. So definitely, Nakuru is one of the most populated and developed city in the rift valley you also have eldoret as well so yeah guys let me show you what the road here looks like and you get a vibe of the place so literally over to my right there this is the train station here in nakuru now this train station has been around a long time since even the colonial era and of course it became a bit dormant in terms of people using the train station to go to different places but from what I'm seeing they're actually developing it and very soon we'll have a SGR here you'll have a train line running to this city here in Nakuru and probably heading towards Kisumu another lakeside city here in Kenya so I'm really liking the development I'm seeing guys really nice roads paved roads the time now it's 5 o'clock p.m. the weather temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius so it's a good vibe so this is just a park really near towards the train station here in Nakuru city that's being developed at the moment and the last time I was here the grass was very high you couldn't just walk through like that but it clearly seems that they're taking value in maintenance so that's really good on a hot day you can come out here spread a blanket you know relax have a drink and there's another park like a garden area as well which is near the Marika Hotel and the Maasai Market on Kenyatta Avenue so we're really seeing nice little developments that's adding a bit of character to the city here in Nakuru guys So when you're coming to Nakuru, this here will be the main highway. You'll be obviously passing through towards um, the city and it will take you straight to Nakuru city. And if you're following on to other cities as well, if you're heading towards Eldoret, Kisumu and all these areas, you'll definitely be passing here. Very busy highway. very busy highway that's one of the things you'll have to get used to when you travel throughout Africa as well because this is supposed to be a pedestrian walking way but sometimes you do get the motorbike taxi guys that still will drive through and stuff like that so just be careful and be cautious when you're walking I've witnessed this in Tanzania I've also witnessed this in other parts of Africa as well um, it's improving but you still get guys that do it so just be mindful of that especially if it's your first time coming
So on the right, that section over there is actually section 5A. Now section 5A is considered one of the more nicer areas and favorable areas to live in Nakuru. Now for a long time, Nakuru had a reputation for being considered one of the cleanest cities in Africa. Now I'm sure there might be other rivals that can rival that these days, but so far with what I'm seeing, even as we're walking here, it's definitely uh, clean. And well maintained. I'm liking the fact that a lot, a lot of the parks are being really looked after these days. So that's a, that's a really good sign. And especially for people who are visiting, sometimes you may want to go to the park. So this is really good. Now, I'm sure you heard of, I'm not sure many of you, but Tata was a very, I can't remember his full name, but his surname was Tata. He was a very rich man from India. An industrialist, uh, big in entrepreneur, and vehicles are some of, of one of his businesses. So you'll find that here in Kenya, you'll find like the Tata vehicles, and these are like trucks, vans, and different things which are sold here in Kenya. So a lot of people who are involved in certain businesses which require trucks and stuff they'll buy from here that's one of the companies they'll buy from so we're coming up to Naivas now Naivas actually started here in the city of Nakuru and in Nakuru today you can find at least hmm, around five six branches of Naivas and they are supermarkets and pretty much everything which you get in here supermarket across the world you can find it in Naivas sometimes they do offer very good uh, prices and some of the goods but recently there have been a bit of inflation so some things have gone up in prices but yeah if you're coming to Na Nakuru for the first time and you may want to experience what a supermarket is like here in Kenya check out Naivas I wasn't even paid for this promotion. I've shopped there many times, so I know about what I know about their selling, what they sell. So this is the Naivas building here on the left. 
this is the one on the highway if you're not willing to come up to the one on the highway you can always go to the town and you have over four of them to choose from Now I guess for various security reasons throughout Kenya one of the things you'll find is you have a difficult time filming in actual business places even shopping malls and even places like Naivas filming is prohibited I mean you can't film discreetly but you're really gonna have to be discreet because it's ideally not allowed so these are one of the challenges you may face coming here if you're a vlogger So that's one thing you gotta bear in mind when you come to Kenya. All right, guys, I do trust you have enjoyed today's episode. I'm gonna end the vlog here. And until next time, we'll be exploring more of Kenya. This is just a casual walk, a little chat. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani. Karibuni sana Nakuru. Karibuni sana Jamhuri ya Kenya.